Hey everybody, it's Echo. Welcome back to Echoia. Today I'm going to show you how to create some simple banners in Silhouette Studio. First, we're going to use the Draw a Rectangle tool and then we're going to adjust the size, shape, and color as we need to for our banner. Next, hold down the Alt key and using the Select tool, grab your rectangle and drag it, which will duplicate it. Then use the bounding box to resize it. You're making the little back fold that's going to stick out and give the banner a 3D look. I like to zoom in closer so that I can see more clearly what I am doing. And then I send the little um, back portion to the back before I start creating the back side of my fabric using the draw a polygon tool. Because there's not a lot of contrast between my pink and my red border, I'm gonna get in even closer so that I can really see that front corner. And I wanna start there, go to this bottom corner over here and get my crosshairs lined up as close as I can and hold down the shift key to get a straight line here. And then we're gonna go ahead and close up our shape by clicking that first circle. And then we can change our fill to give some contrast now I'm going to select both pieces of the back of the banner and go to the align window, align them left and align them bottom. Now we are going to zoom out and then we will use the, uh, the line tool just so we can create some stitching accents on our banner. We'll just decide about where we want the um, line of thread to go and then hold the shift key to get a level line across and now we can go into the line um, settings for color and also the line style window to adjust the thickness and if we want dashes and what kind of dashes we want once again holding the alt key we're going to click and drag the stitches to create a second set at the top and then holding shift we're going to click the bottom one now right click on them and choose make compound path then drag your mouse around them to select the stitching and the ribbon and we can choose a line middle so we know that they're evenly distributed. With your stitches um, selected, control C and control V to paste. Then we'll just line them up with that back ribbon, use the bounding box to scale them. And then we can um, do the align middle here too. And now we're going to want to um, send some things backwards so that they're behind. We just want to make sure that we get all of our shapes and lines nested in the proper order here. Now we want to go back to the draw a line tool so we can do a last set of stitches on our little um, ribbon back. Now we can use the eyedropper tool to apply the same stitching style to this new piece and then we again want to just work on our nesting of our layers to get everything in the proper order. Once we have everything set up the way we want it to, we're going to make sure we select all of these pieces and then we're going to right click and choose group. Now control C and control F to paste in front. Now go to object, mirror, and flip horizontally. Now using the shift key and your left arrow key, you can just send this pretty far over to the side send it to the back and line up that point as closely as you can and your little banner is done now you can add shapes or a little message like thank you guys so much for watching i hope you liked this video and found it helpful and i will talk to you next time bye